This plot is a little complicated. It's a histogram, but I'd love to walk you through it because this is the heart of the result from the Kepler telescope. What you're seeing is a graph, if you can uh, bear with it, the fraction of stars that have planets of different sizes. One is the size of the Earth, two is twice the size of the Earth, four is four times, eight times the size of the Earth, 16 times the size of the Earth. Again, we can easily measure the size of the planets from the amount of dimming of the stars. And what you see here very clearly is that big planets exist the size of Jupiter, but they're rare. One in 10, one in 20 stars has these big fat planets like Jupiter and Saturn. But as you consider smaller and smaller planets, there's this domain in here between the size of the Earth and two and a half or so times the size of the Earth where there are lots of planets. The Milky Way galaxy is rich with planets approximately the size of our Earth. It's an amazing discovery. We didn't know this until about a year ago. It's a, it's a really profound result. When you look up into the night sky, most of those stars have planets that are the size of the Earth. And this highlights that same point. In blue are the two uh, uh, domains in the histogram between the size of the Earth and twice the size of the Earth. And if you add up these numbers, 12% and 14%, you see that some 26% of sun-like stars has a planet between the size of the Earth and twice the size of the Earth um, in distant orbital distances comparable to that of the Earth. This is an amazing, I think, historic discovery. It's, uh, for my money, this is, uh, you know, a fifth of an Armstrong step. You know, it's a fifth of the invention of pen penicillin. It's, it's, something, it's something momentous that we humans, you know, with our brains have figured out that the galaxy that we live in has billions of planets the size of the Earth. 